Dear children, good morning. Welcome back to the online session of Sri Gogulam Public School. Last class we started chapter 1 of microeconomics. Today, let's study the various definitions of economics. For economics, we have various definitions, namely wealth definition, welfare definition, scarcity definition, etc. Today, let's study in detail about scarcity definition of economics. This definition was put forward by Professor Lionel Robbins of London School of Economics. He defined economics as a science of human behavior, deals with human behavior as a relationship between ends and skirts means which have alternative uses. What's the definition? He defined economics as a social science, deals with human behavior as a relationship between ends and skirts means which have alternative uses. Here we have to explain three important terms in this definition. First term is ends. Here the word ends means human wants. Second is skirts means. Here skirts means. What's the meaning? Skirts resources. And third term is alternative uses. Alternative uses means many many uses. Okay? So, we can analyze the various statements of the definition. First statement is human wants are unlimited. Human wants are unlimited. That is, we have many many wants to be satisfied. Second point is resources to satisfy. These unlimited wants are skirts or limited. And third point is alternative uses of the skirts resources. Listen. So what's the first point? Human wants are unlimited. That is multiplicity of human wants. We have many many wants to satisfy. Human wants go on increasing day by day. Our requirements. Okay. And what's the second statement? Resources to satisfy these unlimited wants are skirts or limited. What do you mean by resources? Land, labor, capital, etc. What do you mean by scarcity of resources? Scarcity means shortage. That is, lack of resources in comparison with the human wants. Demand for resources has been increasing. What about the availability or supply of resources? Supply of resources are less than the demand for resources. For example, land is scarce. Capital is scarce. Okay, that's the meaning of scarcity of resources. Resources to satisfy these unlimited human wants are scarce or limited. The problem is not only the scarcity of resources, but the alternative uses of the scarce resources. What do you mean by alternative uses? Scarce resources have many many uses. For example, land is scarce. We can use for cultivation and we can use for construction purposes also. Okay? So, what are the three important statements? Number one, human wants are unlimited. Number two, resources or the means 
to satisfy these unlimited wants are skirts or limited and number 3 alternative uses of the scarce resources from these three important statements we can derive other conclusions also from the definition according to this definition the actual economic problem is the problem of choice what do you mean by choice it's a process of selection from the available alternatives what do you mean by choice the process of selection from the available alternatives so scarcity and choice going together how can you explain the statement scarcity and choice going together scarcity causes choice choice is the outcome of scarcity choice implies decision making what do you mean by decision making how to utilize the available scarce productive resources for maximizing welfare for maximizing benefits or for maximizing welfare so how can you how can we say scarcity and choice going together scarcity causes choice choice means the process of selection from the available alternatives choice implies decision making also so the actual economic problem is the problem of choice what is the root cause of all economic problems scarcity if there is no scarcity there is no problem of choice so out from all these statements we can define economics like this economics is a sense of making choices in the presence of scarcity it's a sense of making choices in the presence of scarcity that is it's a sense of administration of scarce resources that is economics is a sense of decision making it's a decision making sense or a choice making sense it enables the consumers producers and the resource owners to take right decisions in the appropriate time to maximize their welfare for example a consumer always wanted to satisfy always wanted to maximize his satisfaction a producer another important economic unit always wanted to maximize his profit so it deals with economizing what do you mean economizing doing the best or making the best with what we have the most judicious handling of resources the best possible use of resources okay so what we have discussed so far we have discussed scarcity definition how can we conclude scarcity is the root cause of all economic problems the actual economic problem is the problem of choice economics is a sense of making choices in the presence of scarcity so rightly it's a decision making or a choice making sense choice making means the process of making selections from the available alternatives decision making means we have to decide how to ensure the most optimal utilization of resources that is the best possible utilization of resources so economics is a sense of scarcity economics deals with economizing okay